Welcome to Pray 16. For the next hour, you are invited to stand with other believers as we pray and release the power of God into the lives of his people. Remember, if you're not praying church, you're just playing church. Coming to the studio in five, four, three, two, one. Well, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, we are here on WTJR on Pray Live 16. My name is Pastor Tim Red. I'm filling in for uh, Pastor Gary Wallace on today. So grateful for you to be joining us on this morning. What we are going to do is be praying, amen, and encouraging you in the things of God. And we're going to pray, 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 and pray again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, so I do have a word um, for you today, and I believe that God is going to resurrect some dead things in your life. Amen. <laughs> Man. And we're going to uh, dig in and look about, look and see how we uh, can experience God resurrecting things that we thought was done, thought was through, finished, and um, that God said, you know, it, it's, it's whatever, it's never going to happen again. You may have thrown your hands up, you may have thrown in the towel and say, you know what, I thought this was God, but obviously it's not. But you know what, there is a word for you today. My bishop, Bishop E.L. Warren, has declared this to be the year of recovery. <laughs> Amen. This is the year of recovery. Amen. That means that you had something, lost something, but God's about to give it to you again. And how do we do that? We do that through prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. And it, it could have been the enemy uh, took it away. It could have been that we gave it away. It could have been oh. sin. Uh, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah. But the gift of God is eternal life. And I want to let you know that the gift of God, the grace of God, the mercies of God is eternal. Glory be to God. And that means that if we can turn away from our wicked ways, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. So I want to declare uh, over your life today that as we pray, glory be to God, God is getting ready to do some miracles in our lives, that we are going to shift, amen, and, and, and see the trajectory of our future be absolutely change because of our prayer life on today. Amen. And we have uh, none other as our co-host, our guest, amen, yeah. Sister Donette Douglas. Amen. 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 So let's give God a, a praise. Amen. Hallelujah amen. for her. Jesus. And so we just, we thank you, Sister Donette, for um, WTJR, for you amen. running this and for your team. Amen. For allowing us to be, just, you know, a person like me to be on TV and uh, express the gifts that God's given me. So I just want to say thank you and give, give God honor for you and your life and the gifts that he's put inside of you. Amen. Oh, well, thank Amen. you, Tim. Yes, I, I think it's an honor to be your co-host today. Praise God. It is an honor to me, blessed. too. I am blessed. I am blessed. You know, Praise the Lord. first of all, I want to, viewers, okay, if you're on TV or if you're on Facebook, I want you to get your um, phone out, okay? I want you to go to Facebook and go to WTJR TV Facebook page. Because you can help us today. You can be a part of the Pray 16 team. And go to that Facebook page and then bring up this live Pray 16 program and hit that share button. Amen. And that will reach your friends because you have people on your friend list that we don't. Right. And they may need to hear a word today that Pastor Tim or myself have to say. Amen. They may need to just be in the presence of God. See, that's why I'm so excited about that's this it. program. Exactly. We, God gave us this program and invited us mm -hmm. to spend this time Amen. in his presence. Yes. Wow, to be in the presence of God. So I'm going to push that share now button, okay? And I pray that you've shared doors. Oh, I've got to turn my volume down. I don't want that bothering us right now. But anyway, prayer. Yes. Importance of prayer. Yes. I'll tell you what, my life changed. Mm-hmm. When I started reading this word every day, but also when I started, wow, spending more time, yes, not just saying that prayer at mealtime or not just in the morning when I got up, mm -hmm. but spending more time in prayer with the Lord, my life really, really changed. Mm -hmm. And why, Tim? Because that relationship between me and God mm -hmm. was getting stronger. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was getting closer. Yes, and once you get in his presence, you want more of that yes, presence. Yes. 
because you feel love. Yes. You feel his Absolutely. peace. You feel his yes. hope. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I feel his joy. Right, I'm right. telling you, when Jesus talked about it, it was joy yes. to endure the cross. Wow. I'm starting to understand yes. what that joy is because I want people to have that fullness Amen. Amen. of Christ in their life yes. also. Absolutely. And so wow. I'll tell you what, prayer, I, I don't, Five minute prayer, no, anymore. I, mean, I, I love the hour prayers. Mm -hmm. I love to go to prayer meetings. We, we just sit and pray for mm -hmm. an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, prayer, that's being in the presence, the presence. of God. That's Think right. about that. That's right. You're in the presence of Almighty God. Yes. The one who created you, He created you with a purpose, mm -hmm. and He loves you the most. Amen. He loved you first. He loves you now yes. and he will love you forever. Yes, ma'am. Think about that. Wow. Isn't that someone that you want to spend time with? Yes. And then as you read the word and see God working in your life, you want to be with that one that's got the answer. That's right. That's that right. can really help you. Yeah. Yeah. That really cares about you. Amen. You may have people say, Well, I care about you, but do they really care about you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, God will walk through it mm -hmm. with you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> He'll carry you sometimes. Amen. He's carried me many times. Many times. Though I'll tell you, I can't even express to you how precious that prayer time is to me. Right. Because I know I'm with my Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And He's got His arms around me. Right. And He says, I'm here. Yes. And I'm not going to leave you. And I'm not going to fail you. Right. And He never has. Amen. And he never, he will. never has to. And he never will. That's never right. will. He never will. Woo! Glory. There, there, there is Glory. A song, uh, there's songs where, uh, and sayings where we say, he hasn't failed me yet. Right. And the truth of the matter is, God will never fail you. No. He cannot fail you. And something that you were saying uh, is that, you know, I went from praying over my food uh -huh. and praying in the morning to praying all day long. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. And so B Bishop says this, uh, Bishop Warren, he says that Jews pray three times a day, uh, uh, Muslims pray five times a day, but the true worshipers pray all day. Yes. They pray all day. Uh -huh. We're always in constant communication yes. with the Lord. Yes. And that's how we need. The Bible says men ought to always pray. And, and prayer is, is not just uh, asking for things. No. Not just talking to God, but it is also worship. Worship. It's, it's worshiping God. It's just saying, thank you, Lord Father, for this opportunity right now. Thank you, Lord Father, that I got to the, uh, the supermarket yes. safely. Yes. Thank you, Lord Father, that you're going to give me wisdom oh, on this, yes. this uh, decision. Thank you, Lord Father, for, for my health. All of that. We're just communicating with God. Amen. Amen. And so we just need to have a, a, a clearer understanding of what uh, prayer is. Amen. And so, listen, today, um, I, before we get into prayer, I, there is a word, and I want you, if you can, uh, turn to John 11. John 11. And um, as you are turning there, and those of you that are waiting for this word, uh, I want you to begin to start calling in with your prayer requests. Um, there is the number right there uh, on, your, on your screen. Go ahead and start calling in so we can begin to agree with you uh, for what you need God to do. And let me tell you that this is exactly what God is saying in John 11. God, <laughs> through Jesus Christ, lets us know who he is and that whatever you need, that is who he is. That is who he will become to you. So John 11, people of God, verses 23 and uh, 20 through 25, it says this. Jesus said unto her, unto uh, Martha, thy brother shall rise again. Lazarus, Martha and Mary's uh, brother just passed away. And so uh, he comes to the tomb. It says, your brother shall rise again. And Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. And Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. <laughs> he said, I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. People of God, listen, Martha and Mary, when, when Lazarus got sick, some of you right now are dealing with health problems. And you have prayed to God, God heal me. God, they say that I have cancer. God, I have diabetes. I have high blood pressure. Um, God, I, I have anxiety, depression. Maybe you are dealing with uh, some, some problems in the home with your children. Maybe it's your parents. Uh, maybe your parents have disowned you. Maybe, maybe your parents are, are, are uh, so far from Christ and you're the one who's saved. I don't know what's going on, but you have been praying. God changed the situation. Yeah. And so Martha and Mary sent some messengers and said, Jesus, watch this, your friend Lazarus 
Lazarus is dead. Now, Sister Donette, the thing that said that's mm -hmm. interesting to me is that Jesus was healing people that he didn't know. Right. And so Martha and Mary, they knew, Lazarus knew, that Jesus was healing people that he had no relationship with. Mm -hmm. So now that you have a friend, come on somebody, uh, uh, that is sick, shortly you'll do something. And yet the Bible says that Jesus does not move, that he stays in the same position, that he stays in the same town two more days. My question to you is, what do you do when Jesus doesn't move? What do you do when Jesus does not answer yeah. your prayer? What do yeah, you do when Jesus does not heal you as preach soon it. as you thought he was going to heal you? What do you do when that, that marriage is headed to divorce court? What do you do when the child preach that you know has been chosen by God is getting ready to go to prison? Mm -hmm. What do you do when that prayer is not answered? Preach and it. so now we see uh, that over in 20 and 21, it, the Bible says, as Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. But the thing is, what did she say when she met him? She said, Jesus, if you would have been here, my brother would have not died. Yeah. Here's what it is. <laughs> A lot of us begin to blame Jesus for everything we go through. Mm -hmm. Wow. What? Wow. Mm -hmm. Are you in the place today where you're looking at your condition and you're blaming Jesus? Mm. And, and, and we, yeah. we, we act as if there is no devil. No. And <laughs> when, when, when we see somebody die... We yeah. blame it on Jesus yeah. instead of the devil. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When, 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 we, when we are frustrated, we blame it all on Jesus. When the ministry is not going, you say, God, where are you? Mm -hmm. And we don't realize that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against yeah. principalities. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Against spiritual darkness. And we have to understand that the enemy is real. Yes. But can I tell you that Jesus is more dominant and he trumps the enemy. Glory be to God. And yes. this is what I want to tell you, that she begins to blame Jesus and here it is, Mary, verse 20, sat still in the house. Yes. She sat still, she did not move. And sometimes our conditions causes us to be paralyzed. Woo. It yes. causes us to stop praying. It causes us to stop worshiping. Come yep. on, somebody. Yep. It, stops, it causes yep. us to stop praising the Lord. And so we no longer have vision. We no longer have hope. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, Lazarus dies, but everybody dies. So why are they weeping about Lazarus? Because Lazarus died prematurely. And I want to tell somebody today that God is getting ready to ready, resurrect the stuff that has died prematurely. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to declare over your life, don't stop before you're finished. I want to come against this I quit spirit. Hallelujah. Because some of us are, are blaming Jesus. Some of us are looking at our circumstances and saying it's too much, it's too hard, and I'm done with it. But God declared over my life today to tell you that I have not called you to stop. But the oh, glory be to God. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. And he yes. says, come on, somebody. He says that I, I am going to finish that thing which I have started in you. So I want to declare over your life that no matter if it's dead, no matter if people have said that you ought to quit, no matter if you have said in your mind that I can't do it, God is saying that I am the resurrection. Glory be to God. And God has given you the tenacity and the grace to finish. Here it is. Jesus says he shall live again. She says, I know that he's going to live again in, uh, uh, when he gets to heaven, but I want to declare over your life, God wants to give you heaven on earth. He <laughs> says, I am the resurrection, yes. and you don't have to die before you realize who I am. You don't have to die and go to heaven before you experience joy. You don't have to die and go to heaven before you experience peace, but he says, I am whatever you need me to be, and I'm asking you today as we get ready to go into prayer, hallelujah, what is it that you need Jesus to be. He is your life. He is your joy. He is your wisdom. He is your knowledge. Whatever it is, I declare over your life that Jesus is that solution. He Amen. is that answer. And I wish that you would just clap your hands right there yes. wherever you are. Yes. And you know that yes. Jesus is whatever Amen. you Amen. need. I am the resurrection. Glory be to God. And I want to declare over your life uh, in, in a few minutes we're going to have Brother George come and give us a word. Uh, but I want to declare over your life today that Jesus mm -hmm. is getting ready to resurrect some things in your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Watch this. Your child is getting ready to preach again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, your daughter, like the prodigal son, is coming back. Woo! 
I want to declare that God is getting ready to bring people back to their senses. Watch this. The, the, the relationships that the enemy has teared down, God is getting ready to build it right back up. He is going to be the one, hallelujah, to mend the, the relationships back together. Glory be to God. I want to let you know that he is the resurrection. That which was dead shall live again. Hallelujah. So people of God, I want to let you know that there is a miracle that's coming your way. There is a miracle that is coming into your life. I want to pray uh, for those that are confused in the mind. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Why? Because yes. I, I begin to doubt God. I begin to be like Martha. God, if you would have. God, mm -hmm. if you, if you would have did it 10 years ago. God, if you would have moved when I asked you to move. There's an old saying that says, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And I want to let you know that today, this is the time for your resurrection. Get ready for a miracle. We're getting ready to go into uh, this, this uh, praise, and it is Tim Red and New Anointing. And the song is, I Can Sense a Miracle. Can you sense it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you feel yes. God get ready to do something in your life today? Yes. I hope you can. Get ready. Yes. Sense a Hallelujah. Miracle. Amen. Amen. Lord. only have a few more minutes and I want to make sure that we sing this song and it says that I can sense a miracle taking place in this place yeah. hallelujah and we're just gonna we're just going to rest in God right now for these last four minutes and 26 seconds and we're really going to captivate and engage with the Spirit of God because I believe that God's getting ready to do something supernatural tonight. Here we go. I can sense a miracle. I can sense a miracle taking place right in this place. Come on, I can sense. I can sense a miracle taking place. Taking place right in Get this ready. place. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for your miracle. Yes. Cause you came in the right. You came in the right place. Right place for your miracle. One more time, say I can sense just right like that, like that. Miracle. Come on, say I can sense. I Miracle. Taking place right in Taking this
a miracle. It's sin destroying. sense the miracle amen. amen can you sense the breakthrough can you yep. sense the answers to your questions hallelujah when we can sense it we can engage amen and take authority amen. of what god has given us amen, amen. glory be to god amen. we are amen. going to get into these prayer requests and so the first um that we're going to pray for is travis travis and uh, he's battling in his mind. So, Lord Father, yes, Lord. we lift Travis up to you, God, in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus, Lord Father. And I thank you, Lord Father, that you are going to renew the spirit of his mind, God. I thank you, Lord Father, that you shall take authority. Lord Father, that he'll realize that he has the power to cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ, Lord Father. I thank you, Lord Father, that he shall be renewed in his mind, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord Father, that we know that the enemy is attacking our minds because as yes, a man Lord. thinketh, so is he. Hallelujah. But we declare, Lord Father, that the word of God that has been instilled in his spirit, that has been instilled in his soul, shall rise up. Lord Father, you say that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that you shall raise up a standard. And God, that standard is the word of God. So we thank you that the word shall rise up. Hallelujah. In his mind, in his soulish realm. To defeat every vault that will try to defeat him. Hallelujah. That will come against Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Any demonic vaults. Yes. Glory yes. be to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Vaults, hallelujah, to give up. Yes. Vaults of suicide, God. Vaults of thinking that he's uh, less than what he is, Lord Father. But we thank you that he shall know, hallelujah, that he's more than a conqueror. Glory be to God in Christ Jesus. So we give you the glory and the praise and the honor for Brother Travis in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Thank be to God. Jesus. And we're expecting. Yes, God. We didn't just say words, did we, Tim? No, ma'am. We're expecting Absolutely. for God to do something Absolutely. in Travis's life. That's we right. want you to stand with us. Yes, please. You know, as you were sharing that word about rising up, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've got to expect and then we've got to receive it. That's it. And I thought of this scripture. I'm just going to share it real quick before I pray. In John 10, 10. Mm -hmm. John 10, 10. I know we hear this all the time, but do we believe it? I don't think we're living like wow. we believe it. Right. It says, the thief yes. cometh not but to for to steal, yes. to kill, mm -hmm. and to destroy. Yes. But Jesus said Jesus. this, and it's in red letters in my Bible. Mm -hmm. I got a red letter Bible. I am, yes. <laughs> I am come mm -hmm. that they might have life. Amen. They might have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. You know what that means? Yes. We're not just have life. Right. We're having it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. So I had to look that meaning okay. up because I'm in school and right, you've right. taught me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> abundantly refers to life in its abounding Amen. fullness mm -hmm. of joy Glory. and strength for our spirit, our soul, and our body. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus wants you to yes. have in your life. Yes. But you have to believe it. That's right. And you have to receive it. That's right. And expect it to happen. Amen. Amen. I want you to start expecting, expecting. for things to happen in Hallelujah. your life when you call upon the Lord. That's right. I want to lift up Ken today, called in for prayer. He has a big sore in his nose. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing is too big for God. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The, may, the world may try to... Um, tell us, or the enemy might try mm -hmm. to tell us, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> that's not important to God, but it is important it to is. God. Evidently. And I believe, Ken believes it, or he wouldn't have called in and asking us to pray for him. Mm -hmm. 
So today, God, we're going to stand in faith yes, God. for Ken. Your Lord word Jesus. says that by the stripes of Jesus yes, we God. are healed. Hallelujah. I believe your word to be true. So I pray right now, God, that you would touch that sore in his nose. Yes, God. That you would heal it. And that this, whatever has caused it, would Lord, never Lord, return Lord. to his body yes, again. Lord. That the pain be gone. Hallelujah. No infection. Yes, God. Or long uh, term effects from this. Thank you, it Jesus. will just be gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. We expect it, Lord. We're expecting. Hallelujah. We're expecting. Hallelujah. I want to just uh, piggyback off of what you were talking about. Um, Jesus says that I come to give you life more abundantly. Yes. And so uh, this is more life than you can live in a lifetime. <laughs> Amen. More life than you can live in a lifetime. Yes. What does that mean, Pastor Tim? That means that God wants to give you so much joy that it gets in somebody else. Yes. <laughs> yes. Glory be to God gives you so much wisdom of his word, so yep. much knowledge yep. of his word that as you share it, it gets into other people's minds. It mm -hmm. gets into other people's mm -hmm. spirits, their souls, and they begin to live out what you have lived. Hallelujah. So watch this. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that um, that Elisha was dead and there was a man that, that they put in the grave of Elisha and and when he touched his bones, he was resurrected. Yes. How, oh, glory be to God. My question is, when you leave, how many people yes. will die and be resurrected because of your bones, Ooh, because of your words, yes. because of your joy, because of the knowledge that God yes. has given you? And that's what God wants to do. Uh, a friend of mine, he, he, uh, he just passed away, and uh, I was able to s just speak briefly at his funeral. And God told me this. He said, that man was a living epistle. And so many people, so many people, I mean, it was, yes. it was crowded. So many people were there. And he says, uh, it, it his life reminded me of this, Romans chapter 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, excitement for God, but not according to knowledge. Now, this man, his name is uh, Pastor Riley Mitchell. This man, Sister Donette, not only, and he had a great zeal. Oh, my God. He'd be, he be running around. They, they said I'm a younger version of him. Okay? So this man had great zeal, great passion for the Lord, but he also had knowledge. Woo! He also had knowledge, and that's what we need. We need more knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Yes, and when you have more knowledge, that's when you begin to pray with more confidence. Hallelujah. Because you know God to be the God that you need him to be. And so that's why we're here, because we know what God can do. So right now, yeah. we're going to pray for the friends and family of Charles Smith uh, at his passing, uh, that, that God will help with the funeral expenses. God is more than able. able to do it. So, Amen. Father God, we thank you for the family and we thank you Lord Father that you said that you shall supply all of our needs all means all and that's all that all means God thank you Lord Father that you shall supply these needs Lord God uh, that yes. they will lack no good lack. thing thank lack you Lord no Jesus that everything shall be paid for hallelujah Lord God I thank you that you are causing finances to come into their life right now yes. Yes, hallelujah yes, you said give and it shall yes, be given yes, to you yes, hallelujah Lord. good measure pressed down shaken yes. together shall men give into your bosom, Lord Father. Yes, Lord. So I thank you that you're going to touch the hearts of men and women, Lord Father, to give into this family's life, yes, Lord, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Father, that they shall be honored, hallelujah, with the giving, hallelujah, of men yes, and that Lord. everything is taken care of. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. Thank hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, for answering this prayer. Yes, Father. Thank you, thank Lord. You, thank you, Lord. Uh, we want to pray for Neo. He is having stomach problems. And I want to read from Philippians 4, yes, 7 and 8. You know, the Bible says <laughs> he sent a word. That's right. And he healed them. That's it. That knowledge that Tim was talking about is the word of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to have the word of God in you to yes. draw. That's the best medicine there ever was. The greatest physician there ever was. Mm. The word of God in Jesus Christ. But it says in Philippians 4, 7 and 8, and the peace of God, well, we better start at 6, I'm sorry, 6 and 7. Be careful or anxious for nothing. nothing. Sometimes when we're not feeling well, especially it's been for a long time, we mm -hmm. get anxious. Absolutely. We start having thoughts maybe we shouldn't have, but we right. get anxious about it. But in everything, yes. everything, no matter if you think it's a small problem or a big problem, Amen. 
everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You got to be thankful. Yes. That you have that answer in Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your request be made no. known unto God. And it says, What happens? The peace of God, Hallelujah. which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart uh -huh. and your mind yes. through Jesus Christ. See, when we have physical illness, we need healing in our mind mm -hmm. too. That's right. Besides our body. That's right. Because that Amen. mind, like I said, if it's been a long time, it yeah. wears on you. That's right. It wears on you. Absolutely. So, God, today I lift up Neil. Yes, God. I pray, God, that you would bring peace to his mind and to his body. Yes, Father. That any anxiety about this situation would be gone. Thank you, Jesus. That he would stand in faith, Jesus. knowing that people are lifting up prayers, that he is praying and looking to you for his help. Yes. We're standing in faith, believing that whatever's causing these stomach problems, you will reveal. Yes. Maybe it's Thank foods you, he's eating. Maybe it is a stress uh, we don't mm -hmm. know, God. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is a health yeah. issue. Yeah. But you know. So today we put this completely into Jesus, your hands. Jesus. Knowing that you are the healer, yes, God. the great physician. I pray you will send a word send that will cause this Hallelujah. healing Hallelujah. to Hallelujah. take place in his body yes. today. Yes, God. In his mind and in his body, yes. healed in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 We, we receive that. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Absolutely. Thank you, Lord, Absolutely. for healing. Thank you, God. Lord, Father, we, we lift up this couple. It's an anonymous couple, and they need you to move in this relationship, God. Mm. Lord, Father, we know that you can, that you're yes. willing to do it, and that you will. You said, Lord, Father, I stand and knock at the door, mm. and if you answer, I will. Sub with you. Father, I pray and I yes. lift up this man of this man unto you mm -hmm. that he will not deny the knocking on his heart. Mm. God, I, I pray in the name of Jesus. We stand in the gap for him. Yes, we do, Lord. As he is not a believer, Lord Father, but we are. And we pray yes. this prayer of faith. Yes. That God, as you begin to tug at his spirit, you will say to him, as you said to Paul. You cannot deny that I am pulling on you. I'm tugging on you. The pricks are there. Yes, Lord. <laughs> it's evident that I'm speaking to you. Now, God, give him a revelation. Mm. And as you humble him, Lord Father, let him be like Paul and say, Who art thou, O Lord? <laughs> yes, that Lord. he will know that you are God. Yes. Hallelujah. And that he will begin to ask, what shall I do? What would you have me to do? God, I thank you that you will give him wisdom, that your word says, he that findeth the wife yes. findeth the good thing. Ooh, thank you, God. Lord God, I thank you that you will give him wisdom where the word says that he who findeth a wife findeth favor yes. with God and man. Ooh, thank you, God. That he will honor the woman that you have given him. Yes, yes, yes. yes that yes, he will Lord. honor shop, Baba, yes. shop, the help meet. That she's there to help him meet his yes, destiny. Lord. Thank you, Lord Father, that the love shall be enlarged. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord Father, as your word says, love your wives as Christ has loved the church. Yes, Lord. That he has even given his life for it. Lord God, I thank you that you will move on his heart, that he will get in a place where he is able and willing to sacrifice everything for the love of his wife. Yes, yes. Lord God calls this, this union mm. to be honored by you, that he will honor it, and Lord Father, that it will give you glory. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. And we pray, knowing yes. it shall be done. In yes. the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Woo. I tell you, to me, Lord, be to God. there's nothing more powerful than seeing a man and woman, wife, couple, mm -hmm. walk together with the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. Right. And then to see their whole family Amen. walk with yes. the Lord. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell you, that is a great testimony. Absolutely. Great testimony for the Lord. Absolutely. Amen, amen. <laughs> Woo, I felt that one. Woo, Praise thank God. you, Jesus. Dennis was in a recent accident, may have to go to jail, pray for deliverance and favor. Well, aren't we thankful that God is the one that forgives? 
Amen. And I pray Dennis goes to the Lord and gets that forgiveness. Mm. He was in an accident, has, and he may have to go to jail because of this. Gotcha. Well, God, we pray that as he goes to court, your will be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there would be favor. Mm -hmm. That that somehow this whole situation will bring glory to you, God. Yes, God. It will be a testimony he will have to tell others of your great forgiveness, your great love, your grace, mm -hmm. your mercy, God, that's new every morning, that this would be a testimony unto you, God, that would be used to draw people closer to you. Oh, yes, Lord. Just give him a peace and give him favor, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Hallelujah. answering this prayer. Amen. Amen. Um, we're going to pray. We don't have names, uh, but these two people are dealing with allergies. And so, Father, we, we want to lift them up, Lord Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God, show them that, that you are the healer. Hallelujah. That you are the deliverer. Uh, and nothing is too hard for you. Uh, Lord God, that we don't have to accept anything that's not in your will for us. Thank you, Jesus. Not even allergies, Lord Father. So we, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will touch their, their, their lives, touch their bodies, and, and show and prove that you are more than a doctor, but you are a healer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. At Thank this you, time, Lord. we are getting ready to uh, hear an encouraging word. Amen. From Brother George. <laughs> Amen. So please get ready. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> Let's go, Brother George. Amen. Good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome once again to the set of Pastor Speaks, coming to you live from the studios of the mighty WTJR in scenic, historic downtown Quincy, Illinois. We want the phones out in the lobby to ring, folks. We want to hear your prayer requests. And, of course, more importantly, we want to hear those praise reports, okay? Because those praise reports is how we give glory to the uh, the God of heaven and earth. Amen. Uh, you know, he can do all the great and mighty, wonderful things, but if you're not telling people about it, where's the glory for him? Amen. Uh, you have a responsibility and I, I'd, I'd encourage you to make that phone ring and, uh, and tell the world what great and mighty things the Lord God has done. Amen. Uh, I want to talk to you today about a subject very near and dear to my heart. You know, uh, over there in Genesis after the flood, um, the Lord's part of the, uh, covenant that he made with Noah was to say that uh, as long as the earth remains, uh, seed time and harvest would not cease. Uh, so I want to talk to you about seed time and harvest. I want to tell you, I, I want to uh, approach it a little bit differently. You know, I approach that as an equation. Seed plus time equals harvest. And we serve a God of, the, of an abundant harvest. Can I get an amen? Would you, would you believe that with me? Do we serve a God of an abundant harvest? We quoted it earlier. Uh, Donette did, uh, said that Jesus came that we might have life and that more what? Abundantly. So yes, we do have a God in heaven who wants to give us an abundant harvest. But can I tell you a secret, folks? You don't get to harvest if you don't sow. What? You mean I have to work? Yeah, you can't just sit back in your recliner and, uh, you know, play with your phone and do nothing with your life and expect to reap a harvest. God has given you seed. He expects it to be sown. And if you will be obedient and sow that seed, uh, he will open up a harvest that you can't, won't, be, won't be able to contain. That's in his word. He promised it through the... Uh, and through the Italian prophet Malachi, they're the last book of the Old Testament. Some of you might pronounce it Malachi, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just having a little fun there. Um, but, uh, but, but seriously, folks, you know, uh, Paul said over in 2 Corinthians that he who sows sparingly will reap sparingly, and he who sows abundantly will reap abundantly. That's 2 Corinthians 9, 6. You know, I've, I've applied this principle to my life. I know it works. It's a kingdom principle. It will work whether you're a believer or not. You know, why do you think these big corporations give to charities? They know. They know that principle works. 
And so they put it to use. Now, they're putting it to use for, you know, their own selfish gain. Um, you know, they're not doing it to honor God. Hopefully, you're a little bit brighter than the average corporation, and you are doing it to honor your, honor your Father in heaven, because that's what he told us to do. He said, while we have opportunity, let us do good to all but especially those who are of the household of faith. So I want to encourage you today, you know, if you are lacking something in your life, begin to sow to it. Begin to ask the Lord, Father, how can I sow to this need that I have? You need more wisdom? Start sowing more time in the word. You need mercy in your life? Try being merciful. There's a radical concept for you. Let he who has been forgiven forgive others. Wow. What about that? You know, um, I don't know what your need is, uh, but, but I promise you, if you will go to the Lord in prayer, if you will humble yourself, he will, he will tell you and explain to you exactly how to sow to the life that you want. And, you know, like we said earlier, he is the God of the abundant harvest, and he wants you to have an abundant harvest. He wants you living a prosperous life. But he's not going to deny himself. He's not going to, de- he's not going to defy natu- the laws that, and the kingdom principles that he has set up just to give you a good life when you're going to sit there and be lazy and not work for it. Amen? I'm sorry. There are a lot of folk out there. I know them, uh, you know, uh, of, of every, every stripe who are looking to reap a harvest where they have not sown. And God wants to give them a harvest but they haven't sown to it. And so when harvest time comes, and harvest time always does come, folks, instead of a bountiful, plentiful harvest, you get a famine. So if you're you're in famine now, it's because you have failed to sow. I'm sorry. It's It's not the devil's fault. It's not your neighbor's fault. It's not the president's fault. You need to look at the man in the mirror, and you need to ask yourself and ask God, what do I need to do to change my situation? Forgive me, Lord, I have either sowed bad seed or I have not sowed enough good seed, but this lack of harvest in my life or the, har- or the harvest of evil from sowing bad seed is my responsibility. And you take resp- And I promise you, as one who has been there, done that, got all the t-shirts, if you will own it and confess your sin before God and repent, he will pull you up. He will pull you up out of that pit. It won't happen overnight. It happens slowly, little by little, bit by bit, line upon line, precept by precept, but he will deliver you. If you will be diligent, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. I hope that blessed your heart. I hope, you, I hope you took those words to heart, and I hope you apply them because they will change your life. That's a promise from God, not from me. I'm nobody. But God says yeah. what God says he's able, well able to do. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. We're going to send it back over to the Praise 16th, set down. Pastor Tim and Donette are going to pray and release the power of God into your life. I pray you are ready to receive it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes, yes, yes. Receive us. Brother George, thank you so much for that. I mean, so, so many nuggets, amen, that was uh, full of treasures, amen. Uh, He was talking about following the principle, following Mm -hmm. the principle. The Bible says that God gave his only begotten son. Hey, man. Uh, so God gave his only begotten son. And because of that, as a result, Amen. we now are sons of God. Amen. He gave it. Hallelujah. He sowed and he has reaped a harvest. Glory be to God. And, and another thing that we need to realize is that I know a lot of times uh, a, a lot of us are on WTJR Pray 16 because we're wanting prayer. Mm-hmm. But one thing we need to do is not only want prayer, but want to pray. Yeah. Not just needing to needing prayer, but I'm coming in here to pray with you. And so we need to begin to sow through interceding. Hallelujah. I know that I know that you need stuff, but there's a whole lot of other people that need things too. Yeah. And how about we sow our prayer, amen, amen, into the lives of people and watch God begin to answer you, your problems uh, more swiftly than normally because you have sowed the seed of prayer. Glory be Amen. to God. Uh, so we're going to lift up this this lady 
who's um, dealing with things in the workplace. Uh, so, Father God, we, we thank you for her, and we thank you that she uh, is um, asking you to touch uh, the hearts of people that's in her uh, at her job, Lord Father, and all the things that's going on, the confusion, Lord Father. Lord Father, that you have called us to be the light of the world. Yes, you have Lord. called us to be the salt of the earth, Lord Father. And so I thank you that she knows who she is. Hallelujah. That she knows who she is in you and that she's not wavering and she's not allowing the confusion or frustration or, or people disrespecting her to, uh, to um, go backwards, Lord Father. But she is progressing in the things of God. She's praying, Lord Father. And we thank you that you said, hallelujah, that the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Hallelujah. And so, God, I thank you that as she goes and moves forward in the things of God, the gates of hell shall not prevail against her efforts. God, I thank you that through her life, people are going to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, delivered. I thank you, Lord Father, that, that, that knees shall bow and tongues shall confess that you are Lord. Hallelujah. As she stands on her faith. Glory be to God. As she stands on the word of God. She's getting ready to see things shift in that atmosphere. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory amen. be to thank God. Thank you, Jesus, for Glory answering this God. prayer. Amen. Thank faith, you. you know. Yes. Faith. It, it hinges on faith. That's it. That's it. And you got to see yourself reading or receiving mm -hmm. that answer. Amen. See yourself receiving that answer. That's right. Um, we've had a prayer request to pray for our dear friend and brother in Christ, Jerry Jenkins. He's going to be having surgery to replace a trance and an aortic bowel replacement okay. in his heart. And when I thought of Jerry, because I know he stands in faith, and I thought of a couple of scriptures here real quick. Uh, you know, we can pray the Word of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's power in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. It's living. There was a woman hmm. who had an issue of blood yes. for 12 years. That's right. And she came behind Jesus and she touched the hem of his garment. And she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, mm -hmm. I shall be whole, not just healed, Right. we're going to be whole, Amen. spirit, physical, mm -hmm. mental, emotionally. Yeah. And Jesus turned about her, and when he saw her, he said, daughter, be of good faith, good of com excuse me, daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to heal two blind men, mm -hmm. and he said, they cried unto him, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said unto them, Believe, believe. That's do it. you believe right. that I'm able to do this? Yes. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, faith. Amen. be it unto you. Amen. Faith is the key. That's it. The Glory key to God. our prayers to our life, mm -hmm. to everything. Mm -hmm. And I know Jerry believes. And we're going to stand in faith with you, Jerry. Yes. We're standing on the Word of God. Hmm. That God will put His hands in that surgeon's gloves and He will perform this surgery. Yes, God. That will be successful. Hallelujah. No complications. Thank you, Jesus. No infections. Gosha, no hindrances. No existing problems come from it. That this will be a successful surgery mm, mm. because you're performing it, God. Thank you, God. And I know you don't even have to use the surgeon. You can just reach down like in these two uh, parables that Jesus shared or stories about Jesus and just touch him and he's healed. Yes, God. Thank you. We know that is possible. Right. And we're standing in faith. For Jerry's total, total healing, yes, God, that he be made whole, whole, whole. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for healing. We are going to pray for this young lady who's in an abusive relationship. So, Father God, I yes, thank Lord. you, Lord God, that you are going to make a way of escape. I thank you, Lord Father, that she will realize that she does not yes, have to Lord. stay there. 
Uh, she does not have to uh, endure this, Lord Father, that this is not the best that you have for her. Yes, uh, Lord. Lord. God, that you will move her, God. Yes, Lord. In Help the her. name of Jesus, Lord Father. Yes. I declare, Lord Father, yes, Lord. for protection in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I thank you, Lord Father, the way that you protected Job, you shall yes. protect her right now in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus, God. I thank you, Lord Father, for friends and family. Hallelujah. That shall persuade her to move out of the relationship and that she will make the decision, the conscious decision, that enough is enough, and that she will move out of that relationship, Lord Father. And again, out of everything, you get glory. Hallelujah. Out of everything, yes, Lord. Lord Father, what the enemy meant for evil, you could turn it around for our good. And so, Lord Father, I thank you, Lord God, yes. that she, she, show, uh, she can write a book about this, Lord Father, and help other yes. people get out and be delivered yes, from Lord. abusive relationships. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah, you, God. Thank Bless you, you Father. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We need some praise reports coming in because I know God's yes. doing something today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Call in. Uh, Maggie, two Spoosh. years old, hit her face on the floor uh, last week, knocking her tooth loose. Dennis says she needs oral surgery to remove one, if not both, front teeth. Please pray for a miracle of new tooth roots and new teeth. Well, God, we put this situation in your hands. First of all, that you would bring peace to this little girl. I'm sure it was a traumatic experience. She experienced a lot of pain and not understanding what's going on. And I just pray you would bring that peace. Yes, God. And I pray, God, that uh, there be no permanent damage, Thank you, God. that those new teeth are, will be just fine and they will grow in straight. They'll be beautiful. They'll be a... a, a witness to you, God, of your healing touch in this little girl's life will be a testimony that her family can share and that through this her family's faith will be strengthened. And maybe even some will come to know you as Lord and Savior, God, that you would take this situation and make it as a, mm -hmm. a testimony yes. unto your healing and to your restoration. Thank you. In Jesus. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. Amen. We're going to pray for this young man. Um, his mother called for prayer. Mm. Uh, he's having suicidal thoughts. Uh, mm. So, Lord Father, uh, we yes. lift this young man up to you. And, Lord Father, I thank you that um, as Adam woke up, mm. the first thing that he saw was you. And, Lord Father, yes. He saw that you were his potential. Mm -hmm. What he saw in you, he thought, I can live up to that. That's the standard. Hallelujah. All I see is God. All I see is love. All I see is good. All I see is hope. Lord Father, cause this young man to see you. Hallelujah. And as he sees you, he sees himself. He sees himself in you, God. He sees goodness. He sees love. He sees success. He sees hope. He sees a vision. He sees a purpose. God, you said, yes, I know the thoughts that I have for you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Yes, Lord. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that yes. he will have a revelation that you have a purpose for his life. And God, and that's the reason why the enemy wants to take him out, Lord Father, is because the enemy knows how precious he is to this earth. He, the enemy knows, Lord Father, how many lives can be saved through this man's yes, ministry. God, the enemy knows how many yes, people will yes, be delivered yes. and souls set free. God, the enemy knows close yes. shot, that go yes, shot, the anointing that you have yes. placed upon this young man's life. Yes. So I come in the name of Jesus as if it was myself, Lord Father. I pray for his life, God. I pray over his mind, God. I thank you that no weapon formed against him shall prosper, God. I thank you, Lord Father, that we can come against the enemy and he shall cease. Hallelujah. Glow shot, that go yes, shot. Lord. His attacks. Yes. I thank yes. you. God, in yes. the name of Jesus, that we take authority right yes. now, and I bind him in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. I say, Satan, you shall be loose go shot, that old go shot, from trying to bring destruction, God. Yes, I Lord. bind you in the name of Jesus. Glory be to yes, God. Lord. I bind you by the blood of Jesus. Go shot, Bobo, go shot, that you shall not take this soul, that you shall not take this life. I declare yes. in the name of Jesus that he shall fulfill his purpose. I thank yes. you, Lord yes. Father, yes. that he shall bring 
hell to hell. I thank you, Lord Father, that souls will come out, hallelujah, from hell because of his preaching and his teaching. I thank you, Lord Father, that he will be delivered from drugs and alcohol. I thank you, Lord Father, from every bondage that God is delivering him right now. I thank you, Lord Father, that he shall overcome by the word of his testimony. I thank you, Lord Father, that you shall give him love. Hallelujah. I thank you that love, hallelujah, covers a multitude of sin. I thank you that he shall know who he is in Jesus Christ and that he shall walk in it, that he shall be passionate in it. I thank you, Lord Father, glow shot that of old glow shot, that you are going to give him a, a prison ministry. I prophesy over his life as I can see it as clear as day. Glow shot that of old glow shot. He shall travel the whole entire world preaching and teaching the gospel of Jesus. Satan, you met me and you have met trouble. I thank you, God, that you have given me the chance and the opportunity to pray over his life. I thank you for the anointing that's on my life to destroy that yoke right now in the name of Jesus. We come together. What shot that I'm all go shot. And you said if we say into this mountain, be thou cast into the sea, that it shall be done if we doubt not. God, I speak with faith. I speak with confidence. I speak with hope. I speak low shot that I'm all go shot. Knowing that this is what shot that I'm all the will of God for his life. I thank you, Jesus. Come on. If that's you right now, I want you to praise God. If anybody in your life is dealing with suicidal thoughts, I want you to praise God right now. Hallelujah. As if I just pray for them. If it's you, go shot that I'm all go shot. I want you to know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. And I want you to get joy out of this, that God is not done with you yet. Come on, somebody. I said God is not done with you yet. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you're doing right now. God says, I have more in store for you. Yes. It is not over. Don't quit yes. until you're finished. Glory yes. be to God. Do not allow the enemy to talk you out of your purpose. Yes. Do not allow the enemy to talk you out of the things of God. Yes. Do not allow the enemy to try to destroy what God has created. God has yes. more in store for you. And I declare that the Holy Ghost is ministering to you right now like never before. Go ahead and just worship him and let him speak to you. Go so prophetically. Hallelujah. God is doing something today. I want to let you know. I want to let you know, people of God. Hallelujah. That he is the God of the resurrection. Hallelujah. Oh, that thing which was dead and shall be alive. Glory be to God. The hope that was dead shall be alive. Hallelujah. The purpose that was dead shall be alive. Come on, let's just magnify the name of the oh Lord. Lord. Shut out of all go shut up. People of God, that's what we're here for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank Lord. you. We want to thank you for joining with us yes. on today here at thank Pray Live 16. I am here. Uh, Pastor Lord. Tim Red filling in yes. for Pastor Gary Wallace and this yes. is Sister Donette Douglas. Yes. And we want to just thank you for spending your, yeah. uh, your last hour with us. Yes. Amen. But let's not let this end our prayer. <laughs> We can continue to do that. We bless you and give, you, give God glory in the name of Jesus. We'll see you next week. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Be resurrected. Amen.